There are some awesome college football games this week. There really are. With massive locations. First up, how about Penn State and Michigan? A must-win game for the Wolverines. If they lose, they're pretty much out of it. Yeah. They are 10-point favorites. It is surprising to me, Tom, that... Uh, one, Michigan is facing their third um, their third straight ranked opponent, right? Now two of those teams aren't ranked anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, Wisconsin, Michigan State. Michigan has not won a game, a th three straight games against ranked opponents in 21 years, mm -hmm. Tom. So they are kind of, you know, facing the demons uh, of not coming up in big games. So favorite again, though, 10 point favorites Penn State. People were crazy. We thought it was insane. They were favored by 10, 10 and a half against Wisconsin a couple but they weeks knew. ago. They knew. They, they ended up winning that game by 25 points. They go on the road and get a two touchdown victory against Michigan State, who was ranked at the time. So the, the, the money is going towards Michigan here, Tom. It kind of reminds me of that, that Wisconsin one. Like, is, is this Michigan team just have it right now? And the sports books you know might. that uh, they've got to make these lines bigger than expected. Because if you recall, Tom, Penn State absolutely murdered blew Michigan out. last year. Was but never a game. two years ago, 2016, Big Ten champion Penn State, Michigan blew them out by like 39 points, like 49 to 10, Tom. So we want to know from you, watching on YouTube Live, watching on Facebook Live, the chat, sports, Twitter account, who you got, baby? Penn State at Michigan. Trace McSorley is no Saquon there. Joe Moorhead's going on against Michigan at home. A game that the fourth quarter is going to be playing on those yeah. Michigan Wolverine. You know, big house lights, Tom. Number 14, Penn State on the road. Give me number five, Michigan. Okay. McSorley's done some great things with his legs here, but I don't think he necessarily has to do a bunch. Or he, he needs to do more with his arms is what I mean to say. Yeah. He has not been that accurate this year. He misses those guys. Give me Michigan. Every time I look cover. at the stats time, it's like 11 of 25 for 185 yards. Like, what kind of stats are these? Type P for Penn State. Type M for Michigan. Below in the comments, who you got this weekend? I'm gonna. I'm not going to tell you, Tom. I'm, I'm going to be at the game. Oh, yeah. I don't want to tell people my pick. Michigan I don't wanna, by 10. Yeah, I don't want to jinx by, it. By 10 or more. All right. West Virginia. Now, they are trying to keep their hopes alive. They check in at number 13. They go on the road against number 17, Texas. But Texas is actually the favorite. Surprising? Give me the Longhorns. I'm not surprised at all. Actually. Well, this, this West Virginia team reminds me a lot of the Oklahoma State teams the past decade. They had a like, really good quarterback play. Now they've got Will Greer, who's mm -hmm. kind of coming into his own as an NFL prospect. And this kind of reminds me of the same team they lost to on the road at Oklahoma State last mm -hmm. week. It's a high-powered offense. I don't think Texas is going to hang with them. Things can happen when you're home in college football. I like West Virginia in this game. I think they get I the victory, Texas. Tom. I might put the put some money line. I bet it's like 2-1 to one odds on the money line. I have to look at that on BetDSI and put my money on West Virginia. Type W for West Virginia. Type T for Texas. Who you got? West Virginia traveling to Austin to take on the Texas Longhorns. Tom, SEC oh, is where it's happening this week. Take a look at this matchup. Georgia at Kentucky. What do we got here? On the road, the number six Bulldogs take on the number nine Wildcats. It's a road game for Georgia. They're still favored by nine and a half. Mm. I think you're going with Georgia here, James. I think Georgia is going to win by, I'm going to say it on here, I'm 17. I think it's going to be okay. something like 31 to 14, Tom. So Kentucky's MO is very simple. Mm -hmm. Play great defense, run the football. Yep. If Georgia gets up early, game's over. Sure. Kentucky does not have the passing attack to keep a high-scoring affair going. They're just not good enough. But if it's a close game, if Kentucky can still run the football, mm -hmm. if the defense plays as good as they have in the past, then that defense is really, really good. If we get LSU Jake Fromm again, don't rule out the Wildcats. Yeah, Don't rule them out. Yeah. We will see, Tom. Who you got this one? Georgia at Kentucky. UGA Georgia. for Georgia. UK for Kentucky. I got Georgia. I've got Georgia. I think they're going to cover Georgia. that spread. I think they're going to win the game by 17 it's points. It's a no-go bet for me on the spread because I don't. I, it's a little high, and I think Kentucky can hang around. It's either going to be a close game or a Georgia blowout. Tom, the game everyone will be watching Saturday night. Oh, LSU man. is hosting Alabama. 14 I, and a half. I want to go to this game. I really do. This is such a good game. It's been an epic series ever since Nick Saban led LSU to a national title, went to the Dolphins for two years, then came to Alabama, has built the greatest juggernaut we've ever seen in the history of sports is the Alabama, you know, consecutively. Obviously, the Lakers or Celtics or Yankees have been more historical. And the Alabama team right now, they are 14 and a half point favorites it's on insane. the road, Tom. This is one of the most insane lines I've ever seen in college football. This is one versus three. One versus yeah. three. Three is at home, and they are getting 14 and a half points. Conspiracy theory for you. Oh, yeah. Ready for it? Oh, yeah. The the committee put Bama at one, LSU at three in order to hype up that matchup. One well, versus three. Of course they did, Tom. They're because, hyping it up. Because I'm sure that uh, half the people on the committee will have to pull up the committee. Next year, we have to do like a C next week, a CSI. <laughs> a CSI. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Grew up a in Alabama, chart. but somehow went to a Big 12 school because they 
they offer him a scholarship. It's like the <laughs> Russians, Tom, in the movie, uh, in, that, in that show, where they're implanting SEC people all over the country for the CFP the 30 Russians? years later. It's that like that about? show, The Americans. The Americans. You know? yeah, okay, it's I like watched the, the, the Americans. Imp implementing I don't the watch TV. SEC has infiltrated all of college Sorry. football. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you got Bama LSU. That spread is massive, James. Um, I just, I, you know, it's one of those things they're begging you to bet at LSU, so I'm going to put my money on, exactly. on Alabama. Exactly I don't right. know what I'm going to bet this way. I said if it went to 14.5, I was going to bet LSU. It's there. I still can't let myself do it. Though. This is one of those games I think you're spot on where they are begging you to bet against Alabama, mm -hmm. but they know it's going to be the tide in a blowout. Tom, I think Alabama could shut LSU out. Oh, I do too. Yeah, I don't see LSU maybe. I don't know if they score. If, if LSU can't run the football, mm -hmm. Joe Burrow has made some nice moves on the ground, but he hasn't done a lot through the air. Um, you go the it could be a 28 nothing game. Yeah. yeah 20, it 20. totally could be. It, it kind of reminds me of that national title game. They did win that one 20 to nothing. 2011 national title game. LSU, Alabama. We've got some more matchups, Tom. This is the one we'll be watching. But Cal is heading north to Pullman to take on the Washington State Cougars. Upset the alert. number eight now Washington State Cougars thing we said, right? Yeah, number eight Washington yeah. State Cougars. Washington State is a 10.5 point favorite. Their quarterback, uh, was first name that was escaping me at the moment, Minshew's his last name. Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew. What a great name. I think my second kid's getting named Gardner, boy or girl. 10.5 point favorites hosting Cal. Uh, the Cal Bears, who have played good this year, Tom. I swear, every week They've I look at good. the Cal spread, I am just shocked. They're either big favorites or big underdogs. Like I didn't expect them to be a 10.5 point underdog in this game. I was expecting this to be like a 5 or a 6 point spread. So uh, Cal is 10.5 point favorites at Washington State. Who ya got in this one, Tom? Type in C for Cal. Type in W for Washington State. I think the spread, I'm going to go Cal. The game, I'm going to go Washington straight. Gardner Yoder, my future son, <laughs> just messaged me. He is going to go with, uh, with with Washington State. Your future uh, son just messaged you? Yes, uh, on Slack. We've got uh, we got that kind of connection, Tom. Just want to say, love that name, Gardner. Uh, Well-received joke, it seems. So, Tom... <laughs> Will a Pac-12 team qualify no. for the CFP? No, I don't not. see it happening because not. I think you have got to have at least three conferences with two losses for it to happen. Because if Notre Dame is sitting there with one loss, they get in over Washington State. So I don't think there's really, I don't say no chance they do, but you have got to have Ohio State or M Michigan lose a game and then beat the other one, right? The, like, the one team that loses has to beat it. So both those have two losses. You've got to have Oklahoma drop a game and West Virginia drop a game and then beat each other or the conference championship game. So you You've got it, and no way there's going to be an S not an SEC team with one loss or an ACC. Clemson's not going to lose two games on the stretch, so I don't see how they get in unless the Big Ten, the Pac-12, I'm sorry, the Big Ten, the Big 12, or somehow, Tom, somehow that Notre Dame drops two games. I think Washington State loses all those. They're going to lose a game. They're going to lose a game to Cal or Colorado or Arizona or maybe most likely Washington, the old Apple Cup game. You could put a hundy down there and get seven hundred dollar return. This is crazy but value. Not going this to. basically says there is no way in hell that a Pac-12 team has will get a team in the college football playoff. The second year in a row, if I'm not mistaken, right? Big Ten and uh, Big Tw uh, and Pac-12 did not get a team in the, this year. The Big Tw the Pac-12 has got to stop. Uh, whatever they're doing with their scheduling, because they, they seem like they're the much. team that's getting left out year after year after year. Five years in, they're the team that's going to have the most times that they've been left out. So plus seven hundred odds, you can bet that at Bet. DSI time. I want to tell the people one more time. We're going to loop this back. So if you want to see the rankings, they're coming up here in less than 60 seconds. Facebook Live, YouTube Live, and the chat sports Twitter account. Tom, Bet DSI. All these odds we had today, except for the future ones, you yeah. can bet on Bet DSI. Alabama, 14.5 point favorite. Michigan, 10 point favorite. Washington State, 10.5 point favorite. Georgia, 9 point favorite. At Kentucky, a lot of money to be made. Oh, a lot yeah. of money to to, to kind of be earned on this chat sports.com slash bet 120% deposit bonus.